Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for once again joining me for Tea Time. Today we're gonna ask the question, should GoPro ask Canon for advice? Which unit overheats faster? The GoPro or the Canon EOS R5? I'm kind of joking around here a little bit, but I'm gonna answer that at the end of this video. So what do we know here? Basically, what we found out is the brand new GoPro Hero 10 Black is overheating. A lot of people have been testing it out in all different scenarios, and in the end, it's overheating. The camera's actually shutting down. We tried it out to try and record for as long as possible, then it just shuts down after like 20 minutes. But I also shared my findings with GoPro to see if they had any thoughts, and to be honest, they didn't really have a good answer. They told me that they don't recommend recording on the highest settings in a static environment, but even at 2.7K60, after just over 20 minutes, it shuts down. So, why is this? What is going on here, guys? What is going on here? A lot of people were speculating, oh, they put a new sensor in it, or maybe due to the higher frame rates that they're providing, maybe the dual screens or whatnot. <sighs> Brightness of screens and all kinds of other nonsense. And the answer is no and yes at the same time. Well, if we look at the processor, the reason why we went from the Hero 9 to the Hero 10, it's all about that GP2. The new processing unit is the thing that allows it to get all of the new niceties to it. The better stabilization with their hyper smooth 4.0 over the 3.0. We also find that the unit itself will record 5.3K at 60P instead of only 5K at 30P, which is a doubling, let's say. A little bit more size, but faster speed. This also holds true in 4K. So instead of 60P, it will now do 4K at 120P. Once again, a doubling. And then finally, in 2.7K, instead of it maxing out at 120P, it will give you all the way up to 240 also, we have a bigger sensor in it. So instead of 20 megapixels, we now have 23 megapixels in the Hero 10. Now, also when it comes to grabbing stills, instead of doing 4K 12 megapixel stills, we can do 20 megapixel stills at 5K. So it's more and more and more. It's a doubling of speed. It's a double, a double, a double. Now, what didn't double, and this is one of the issues, is the battery. The battery is the exact same battery. It's a 1720 milliamp hour battery. It's the exact same battery. So what happens is, is when you take a battery and pull more juice out of it, it produces more heat. So now once again, we have a battery that is the same, but now we're trying to get so much more out of it with the new GP2 processor. That really is the crux of the problem here. We're trying to do double the amount of things faster, quicker, more, 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 but we're not giving it more power to do so. So while it's drawing in more juice, what's happening is it's shortening the battery life, number one, and producing more heat. So the Hero 9 with the exact same battery is gonna give you a lot more battery life and it won't overheat. Now, some will speculate, well, instead of using 5.3K at 60P or their new 4K at 120P or maybe the 2.7 at 240P for ultra slow motion, don't use that. Just go with the regular 4K 30P if you want to do some long form content. The problem with that is that doesn't work either. According to Tech Radar, they did some battery testing. And while testing, Tech Radar had the camera set to 4K at 30P. They had their image stabilization or their hyper smooth on, and their screens were set to 50%. They ended up getting 72 minutes of battery life out of the unit, which is okay, still less than what the Hero 9 would produce but they had to let the camera stop and rest two times over that 72 minute period. Why? Because it shut down, it overheated. That's just it. So even at 4K 30 frames per second, the unit is still overheating, period. What does it have to do with? Just like I said, you have a processing unit that is doing a lot more, and by doing more, it's pulling more amps out of a battery that is still the same size, producing more heat. So how do they fix this? Well, what they would have to do is they would have to produce a processing unit, maybe a GP3, that provides more processing, but with less power. Less power, less heat. More power, more heat. That's it, it is very, very simple. Now, can they fix it with a firmware update? And I just saw that they released a firmware update. Look at this number, H21.01.01.10.00. 
whatever. Basically, it still doesn't work. It overheats. That's it. So what can they do in firmware to mitigate this situation? Well, they can slow down the processor, number one. They can reduce the video capture rate back to like Hero 9 capture rates instead of double, double, double. They could possibly reduce the maximum screen brightness and maybe they could recode their HyperSmooth 4.0. Maybe it's drawing a lot of juice. Remember, whenever you're dealing with stabilization, there's a lot of mathematics that's going on. The more math, the more processing, the more processing, the more heat. That is it. It's just simply a heat distribution issue. Just like with the Canon EOS R5. With the R5, you had a unit that did a lot, a ton of stuff, 8K, 4K, a lot of data being produced and a lot of data having to be written quickly. What happens is you have a lot of draw on the processor, hence you have a lot more heat. There's very little space for it to be dissipated because it's a small unit and it is weather sealed. What does that mean? He can't get out or not very well. The only way to get it out is to have some type of inlet and exhaust to pull cool air in and exhaust the air out. You can't do that, right, with these type of units. You want some type of weather sealing with a EOS R5. And now with the GoPro Hero 10 Black, that thing needs to be waterproof, period, down to 33 feet. That's it. There's no room for it to dissipate anything. It's very small. You can only produce so much heat for that size unit, period. That is just it. It is as simple as that. There's not a lot of rocket science going on here. Maybe they need to hire some thermodynamics engineer guy to recreate the processor to do more calculations, but with less power. Less power, less heat, just like I said. So in my personal opinion, I think that if you are looking at a Hero 10 Black, look no further than a Hero 9 Black. Period. That's my personal opinion. Pick one of those up if you need one today. If you don't need one today and you can wait, I would watch and see if they can fix this problem. In my personal opinion, they're not going to be able to fix the problem with firmware unless they reduce, 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 slow things down and all the rest of this stuff. And a lot of people are not going to want it because they're going to say, well, if you're reducing everything here, well, I might as well buy a Hero 9 Black refurbished or used and it's going to be a lot cheaper. What is your thoughts? I want to hear from you. That's it, guys. I'm out of here. Many blessings to you and your family. Stay safe and stay healthy.